welcome to Up The Villa fan cams. I have no words, I do not know what to say. 2-0 up, I thought it was all right. Pretty, we were pretty poor to be fair, poor with the ball again. Um, and then you know we got the goals and Villa Park was rocking and then substitutions changed the game, momentum just shifted. Once they got one, they got another and then the one at the end, just an absolute kicker. But you, you come out of the ground and you, you just lost for words, you don't know what to say. But you know, I just feel like the substitutions killed it. Louis coming off, Brendier coming off. Brendier was absolutely brilliant for us today. I thought he had his best game in a, in a Villa shirt and it's just really frustrating that he come off and our attacking intent, you know, we just weren't at it ever since so for me substitution changed it Mings was pretty poor sloppy at the back we were all over the show when that ball was hitting in the box it was like pinball at times and it's just really frustrating and come out you just don't know what to say it's a massive sucker punch but let's hear what all the others have got to say up the villa absolutely utterly devastated can't believe we've thrown away to be honest I, mean, I don't think we were brilliant the whole game, but I think we did well to get it to 2-0. And then last 10 minutes, shambolic is the only word I can think of. Absolute shambolic. Defending of the poorest quality. I mean, there's, I'm going to have to go out and watch it again, to be honest, because I just don't know what's just happened. I'm, I'm totally shocked. I can't get my head around it. I think defensively we were very, very poor last 10 minutes. I don't think anybody, I mean, the leaders on the pitch are supposed to be Mings, yet nobody grabbed hold of them when we went 2-1. And said, right lads, just you know, see the game out, game management, that's what it was all about when it last 10 minutes. See the game out, win the game, by hook or by crook, and they didn't. They, they, it was almost like they didn't know what to do. And when they got the second, I think we all knew what was going to happen when that free kick was given. Just gutted, absolutely gutted. And for all the teams in the league to do it against, we had to do it against them. Fucking... <laughs> I'm just gutted, gutted. We'll see. We'll have a chat in the week. <laughs> I'm totally and utterly. I just don't, you know, words just fail me. Lost words, words, words fail me. They do. I, you know, we've got a, This could be a really bad loss for us looking forward, unless we regroup quickly after this. We could. This could knock us back. So hopefully Smith's in there now, giving them the right act, and they can refocus next week and hopefully come back fighting. But it's going to be a tough one to come back from. This is. So we'll see. But gutted. Absolutely gutted. That's nothing else I can say. Um, absolutely shell shocked. Absolutely shell shocked. I thought first half it was very even. I thought the next goal, the winner. We get one, and then we get fucking two. I thought when Diak was superb. John McGinn, fucking immense, terrific. And then all of a sudden, mate, we let them back in with a sniff. The substitutions, I think now in hindsight, didn't work, man. Louise was superb. I, I get that he's been on international duty, but when he went off, we just looked a bit shaky. Um, and then we just we just lost the bar. I just think that Ramsey coming on as well, he, he struggled to get in the game and <laughs> Oh, it's just a nightmare. We've just we've just had an absolute mare. Like two nil up, I thought we're coasting, we're having a worldie, and then oh, I don't know, I don't know, we've just had we've just had a fucking mare. Who else come on as a substitute? Ramsey and Nakamba. Nakamba, even Nakamba now. Who did Nakamba come on for? Louise. Louise. Ramsey come on for Brendia. Brendia was causing problems. He shouldn't have come off, should he? He shouldn't, he shouldn't have come off because he was causing the issue. And once he went off, our attacking threat had gone. We unluckily lost cash to an injury, who was our other outlet of attack. And then since then, they penned us back. And then the goals we conceded were awful. And it, it's a wounder. It's an absolute wounder. And Mate, I was in the whole end and I was thinking 3-0. I, I thought 2-0 up, we're going to get a third here. I'm going to be kissing Justin after the game with his prediction. And then we went to 2-1. I thought, it's OK. I've got a fiver on Ings 2-1. I'm counting my cash. And then, oh my God, we just had a, had a nightmare. 2-2. Two, two. And then when that free kick happened, I thought, it's, it's inevitable. It's inevitable we was going to lose. So, no, Justin just said, we've got to pick ourselves up and, and, and go again. And um, yeah, wound up. Absolute wound up. Lost words like the other two. Um, first off, very even game like Ryan said. Second off, 10 minutes of pure joy. And then what happens? The substitutions, do you argue that wrong wrong calls like, like Ryan said? I'm, I'm absolutely devastated. Devastated. I mean, Frida at the Villa, we've, we've heard that for years, but 
how have we done that? I mean, Arsenal away next. How do we regroup? Doesn't get much easier this? now, does it? It doesn't get much easier at all. I mean, Dino does need some words in, in there tonight. So, do you think it was the substitutions that, that killed it for us? I think it wasn't like sloppy errors. Like, it's clearly that we've had some errors going on. I don't know what's happened. But I think Mint has had a bit of a poor, a poor game today. I mean, his yellow card wise, he got booked. Doesn't need to do it. And then just absolutely devastating. I mean, him up there is going to be buzzing today, but I'm just shocked. Shocked.